Welcome back. You're watching McLaren Port Huron's Today's Health. And in this segment, we're going to be talking with board certified OBGYN, Dr. Peter Zen. Dr. Zen works with Well Women Care at McLaren Port Huron Women's Wellness Place. And we're going to be talking about breast screening recommendations. Dr. Zen, welcome back to Today's Health. Thank you. Glad to be here. How common is breast cancer? Breast cancer is uh, very common for women. Uh, about 12% of all women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime, and that's about one in every nine women. Um, you know, it's, uh, even though it's so common, some good news is that uh, the five-year survival rates are now above 90%, and that's uh, quite a bit more than uh, back in the 70s when it was about 75%. So all of this work that we've been talking about, this whole program, all these screenings, all this imaging, everything is resulting in um, better outcomes for women. Yes, I think there's been uh, some success in treating breast cancer. Who's most at risk for breast cancer? Uh, well, there are uh, several risk factors, uh, three that I would like to talk about. Uh, one would be being a woman uh, is probably the biggest risk factor. Uh, even though men can get breast cancer, probably only about 1% of uh, breast cancers are in men. Uh, certainly family history uh, is a, uh, can be a strong risk factor, but also a wo woman's age um, is important as well. As women get older, their risk for breast cancer does increase. What are the screening recommendations then? For women over the age of 40 to get yearly mammograms done, and uh, if they have other risk factors such as a first degree relative like a mother or a sister um, probably to start a little earlier like at age 35 um, and there are some special situations uh, where some people get screened even earlier than that and that would be like a woman who has a first degree relative who developed breast cancer at a very young age or sometimes even a, a, a woman having a family member who is a man who developed breast cancer, that would increase their risk even more. But, and it probably goes without saying that any woman that has a, a symptom should talk to her physician about the, you know, should she have a mammogram. Definitely. Uh, symptoms uh, uh, would be always important to um, bring up to their physician. Um, this can be certainly a way to detect breast cancer and I still see several women who find their own breast cancer. Really? So why is regular screening important then? Why not just have that baseline at 40 and then you know why can't we stretch it out a little bit between mammograms? Well uh, early detection is just so important here and um, uh, you know treatments of breast cancer are just so much more effective when it, they're used uh, in early breast cancers compared to more advanced stage breast cancers. You know, if a woman, uh, if we only wait until, until women develop symptoms, such as a, a large enough lump for the, that they could feel it, or a strange discharge from the nipple, or symptoms like that, then uh, we wouldn't be picking up as many early cancers. And this is why, you know, the uh, prevention of advanced stage breast cancers uh, is important and doing that with screening would be the best way to decrease the advanced stage breast cancers. Are they still recommending breast self-exam for women every month? There are lots of different recommendations out there and some uh, said that because uh, women who find a lump, most of the time the lump ends up not being a cancer, that it's not useful. I would disagree with that and I think most physicians disagree with that. We still, again, see women who find a lump and uh, a certain percentage of those will be breast cancer. So to not do self-breast exam, I, I think, is a mistake. Uh, a regular monthly breast self-breast exam is important, and a yearly doctor exam, I think, is also important. Well, that was my next question. All of these, any testing you have um, requires a physician order, which then means you need to see your physician on a regular basis. That's right, and I think uh, women uh, should uh, see their physician for their ongoing care, but uh, women have some special needs. Uh, so uh, a doctor breast exam again yearly, pelvic exam I think would also be important. So if a woman is watching and she is interested in well woman care and wants to make sure her screenings are all in order, um, how does she get in contact with you? 
Well, at the Women's Wellness Place, we try to make it as convenient as possible for women to get their health screening done, and we can usually do it all in one place, most of the time uh, all in the same visit. Uh, and if a woman wanted to make an appointment to see me for these things, uh, they can call the Women's Wellness Place. Uh, the phone number is 810-985-2663. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us. We've given you a lot of information today. You know, you can call us at Health Access. That's 1-800-228-1484. You can get a physician referral. You can get a copy of this program. Or you can go to our website, and that is mclaren.org forward slash PHTH, and you can get a lot of reliable health information there. We hope you join us again next week for Today's Health. Today's Health is brought to you by McLaren Port Huron, a leader in healing and your partner in health.